Welcome back and this week we have a week-long series on a really great piece of kit that I've tried for the first time at 42 Gear Street. It's been out a year but it's the first time I've had the opportunity to try out the Line 6 Pod Go. Now in today's episode we're going to look at some of the presets and we're also going to have my opinion on who I think this thing is aimed at. Now it's no secret that I am a big fan of Line 6 products because as you know every guitar we check out on this channel is played through the little pocket pod and I have taken this to every single gear street and every guitar I've demoed has been done through this. What's more I also use the Pod 2. The Pod 2 lives indoors with me on the sofa here so that I can plug in through headphones and enjoy jamming away on the guitar while we're all sitting watching the television. So this is my real jam rig as well. So you can tell I'm a bit of a Line 6 fan. So this is the latest incarnation of the Line 6 pod range, but this is a much, much more practical beast. This one contains all of the preset tones and sounds of the Helix, the big Helix. What's more, it is as versatile as far as I'm concerned for the gigging musician. Now, I don't want to give away who I think this thing is for, but I think it's fairly obvious. The only discernible difference between this and the Helix range is that this has a single signal path made up of a chain of nine effects, including the volume and the wah-wah, the amp, the cab, and also the effects loop, whereas the Helix has two paths, and so you can put double cabs into it and the like. I don't think that that is necessarily something that the gigging musician is looking for. I really love the form factor of this, having these six pedals bank up and down and six controls and also a mode switch makes this thing so versatile. Let's have a quick look at what is on the back of this unit. So first of all we've got the guitar in, we've got an additional expression pedal, a stereo effects loop which has to be TRS, there's a main left which is mono and a main right output for stereo, there is an amp out. This can bypass the general amp settings and go straight out into the power amp. And lastly it's got a phone's uh, output so you can listen to this as I do with my Pod 2 when I'm playing indoors. It also has a USB. The USB allows this to be pro programmed uh, on the computer or PC or Mac and also it allows you to control MIDI. Lastly it's got a 9 volt input as well and a power switch. So that's what you get on the back of this unit. It's got rubber feet so it sits nicely on a stage and also this expression pedal is actually very very solid given that it is a metal construction. And what's more, I love the fact that when you push this, it turns into the wah wah pedal. I'm going to show you how to program this unit, how to set it up, and also how to get it ready to go out and gig with, with your tones. Everything about this kind of parallels with the Helix range in that these buttons and menus are exactly the same as on the HX Stomp and also very very similar to the big Helix itself. Programming of this thing is a cinch and in fact I haven't even taken the little startup instructions out of the plastic bag yet because everything I needed to know was on the front of this. It's so easy to program, you can literally change any settings you want and save them really, really quickly. But we will, of course, go into that in the second video of the series later this week. The buttons on the front are simply bank up and down. You have got an A, B, C, D, which are the four presets in every bank. And you've got a tap mode to get the delay, the repeats that you wanted to be at. And holding that down doubles as a tuner. So there's a built-in tuner, which is very good and can be a strobe tuner. 
So individually, there are four presets that you can choose for each setting. Each time you bank up, there are four different presets, and these can be chosen by A, B, C, and D. Or you can click on this button here and change the mode, which puts it into stomp box mode, which means you can turn on and off all the effects in your chain directly using the six switches here. That is really, really useful especially for the gigging musician because you can set this up say you've got a nice clean tone and you want to add a bit of chorus or delay you can program the chorus and delay in you can also tap tempo the delay and you can switch it on and off in stomp box mode so you can program them turn the effects off and only turn them on when you need them. Another really useful thing are these five encoders which allow you to change any of the effects and any of the amp settings and you can also page along using these buttons to get control of every parameter of every effect, every amp and every cab. Finally, just like on the HX models on the Helix, you've got a volume control, a master volume control. As I said previous, I love the fact that this volume pedal doubles up as the wah and it is really easy to move, but it will stay in a fixed position when you set it, which is vital because a lot of volume pedals I've had go flappy and floppy after a time. This feels really, really strong. Every single one of the tones of the Helix is on here and they all sound absolutely great. Let's dive in and have a listen to a few of the presets.
As you can hear, a lot of the presets are really great on this, but they do leave a little bit to be desired when it comes to your own personal taste. So the great thing is that this, working in banks of four, you can program yourself. And that is what we're gonna do in the second video coming up this week. We're gonna program tones and we're gonna record a demo using just this little unit. We're going to use it straight into Reaper DAW and we're going to find out what this sounds like in a mix. This is not limited to just guitar effects, it's also got an extensive range of bass effects on it as well, so we'll be running the bass through this as well. So the big question on everybody's lips is who is this unit for? Who is the Line 6 Podgo for? Well, I think it, the clue is in the title, the Podgo. I think this is for the gigging musician who wants to pick up a tiny little board that will fit in the pocket of a guitar bag and go out and gig with it straight into the PA. It is lightweight, it weighs very little, it's got an amazing handle on the back so it's very very easy um, to carry around. It's got every conceivable input that you could require. So there we have the overview. I really hope you enjoyed the presets on this and I hope that you'll stick around to see what I can program in terms of tone coming up later this week. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this overview. Also, it really, really helps the channel if you comment and let me know what you think down below and also share it with any friends that you think might be interested in the pod go. I'll be back with the next video in the series this week on programming the pod. Until then, you guys take good care.